Hello everybody. In last couple of chapters, we studied the basic lighting model. From this point on, we will start learning about the advanced lighting models. So why there was a need of advanced lighting models? There was a need of advanced lighting models because the basic lighting model lacked the realism that we need for the photorealistic rendering. So what exactly did the basic lighting model lack? One of them is the shadow. We lit the scene with the basic lighting model as if there is no object blocking the light source. There are no shadows in the basic lighting model or in the classic lighting model. Another thing that we lacked was inter-object interaction. Basic lighting model also lacks inter-object interaction as there is no real calculation of lighting bouncing from one object and coming onto other. We hacked the bounce light by using the ambient light constant which uniformly lit the scene from all the directions. The third thing that it lacked was energy balance. Quantum mechanics tells us that light can behave simultaneously as a particle or a wave. When we think of light wave as a particle, it carries the packet of energy called as photons. When those photons hit the surface of a material, the energy is emitted from the surface. And the energy emitted is also proportional to the number of photons hitting the surface. So the amount of energy emitted or reflected from the surface should not change by changing the property of the material. For example, if we change the shininess of the material, it should not change the amount of energy reflected from the surface. When the shading model takes care of the energy balance, then it is called as energy balanced shading model, which our basic lighting model is not. Besides these few limitations, basic lighting model is a great model to be performant and fast. In the next few chapters, we will discuss different advanced lighting models. So that is it for this chapter. Thank you so much for listening.